I love you as well. Some of you may have seen my MotoGP preview. Very brief on the game. Haven't had long on the game. But uh, something that's been highlighted quite a bit is the footage from Qatar. Uh, and why it looks so good on the night. And what I did was I filmed the screen with maximum uh, detail and HDR on. Now... Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of a difference that it makes to the game. And I thought rather than cutting too much, I wanted to just show you guys some raw off-screen elements. So I'm going to do is cut to save time, but just literally show you it on the fly. So for example, we're looking at, I'm going to take the camera and then show you what's what. Let's, let's see if I can get myself sorted and get you guys, uh, get you guys a view of the action. Okay. So... What are we seeing here as I move the camera around? Not the most professional way to do it, but this will work. Okay, so now we're seeing normal gameplay here. Uh, we've got a bit of normal gameplay on the bike. And it's during wet weather. And you can see it there, there we go. Bit of a view. And in a moment, we're just going to change that to see what it looks like with HDR. So let's see if we can change it. Okay, viewers, so now HDR is turned on. You can see it's a bit brighter on my screen there. Uh, but when you zoom in, it gives you that nice authentic lighting look, you know, and it just, just makes it seem a bit more real. And then when you change view, you know, suddenly you're, you're sort of on board. And uh, it's giving you that sort of look, if you like. It's a bit more, you know, sort of where the rider would be. And then, you know, great. You get a bit more of a look and a feel. And then you zoom out, and there we are. But it's just, it's just when you're zooming in, and suddenly, whoa, you know, just gives you that bit of movement. Uh, and again, just the lighting, a bit more dynamic when you have HDR turned on. Gives you that real feel, you know. It's just great. You move the camera a little bit on the screen. You can always sort of bump a bit on an exit. It just gives you that bit more feeling. Because you're braking now down into the corner, oh, bumping a little bit over some bumps, squirming a little bit on the bike on the exit, and now you're on your way again, changing gear every time. That little bump oh, is coming up on the outside, and so on. So it just gives you a bit more feeling as you're braking into the corner, bike squirming around on the water and then getting into the corner there, you're looking at that line, oh, moving around, trying to get yourself, your positioning right, and sort of works. That gives you an idea of the, the look and the feel with HDR turned on. Now we'll have a look at Qatar now and just see how much that works because of the night lighting really brings it together. So viewers, obviously I use a, a, a reasonably dull screen, uh, which makes a big difference as well. Um, but obviously if you're using an HDR screen, I know, like Digital Foundry will do this much better than I can, but it's really hard to showcase the HDR effect, you know, when doing a video like this, because it just doesn't convey very well on YouTube until you see it filmed with a camera in this way. Uh, we're just going to start a weekend, and I'm just going to cruise around, and then after that, jump to the replay again, and you guys can see the onboard feeling. And do remember, this is still a, you know, a development version. We're still waiting the day one patch. So again, just this is the sort of night look to it. When you zoom right in, it just looks more real. I wanted to show you guys in context just how good it looks on the screen. I mean, it still looks pretty amazing. And you can see yourself there, just the light, the look, the feel. Now I'm not gonna ride all the way around. Uh, the AI is probably a bit high for me as well at the moment, but I'll come back to that on a future, future video. Don't know where the breaking point is. It's going to hang behind them. Oh, I don't know my breaking points at all. Now, engine sounds are often a little off because I'm using traction control. I'm going to turn that off a little bit. That helped me close up to them a bit.
so I'll try and work my way through and then after this I'll film it from the various different bike cameras to give you guys an idea of what it's like on board. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause it and I'm going to change it to uh, HDR off for one lap. Uh, we go into options here and you've got uh, image configuration. We're just going to turn that off just to give you guys an idea of what it's like and how it's a uh, it it dulls down the presentation that's not just the game I do have a lower level of brightness on my screen because I work from this screen and when you spend as many hours on a screen as I do uh, it makes a big difference however I, ju I just wanted to show you the, the difference of a, a small difference of turning the like, HDR on and off uh, you lose a lot of that sort of ambient lighting um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it here and I'm just going to record some uh, direct feed. So direct feed will of course now, now start recording and I'll, I'll put that in so you're seeing a direct feed now and you can come back to my camera in just a moment we go through a few corners and then uh, It just makes a difference you know, when you're turning HDR on and off on a track like this. And now we'll go back to, we're going to pause it there. I've probably picked the wrong time to pause it. We're going to turn off the recording and uh, we're going to uh, go back to the options and image configuration, turn HDR back on again. And now my room's quite bright. If, this, if I was doing this at night, this would light up the room basically. It's quite bright on the monitor. Um, and again, we'll back out of that, back out of that. And I wasn't looking at what I was doing there, so that sent me wide. There we go. So, back onto this. Obviously, we can't recall direct feed again now because of the more dynamic look to it. And in a moment, we'll jump to the replay. I'm always impressed with how the visuals have improved year after year on these games. I think that in terms of Unreal 4 tech, this is really showing the Unreal 4 tech off well in this mode. Lots of details and spot effects and over the line. So let's uh, zoom the camera in. We've got an idea there. We're going to look at the replay now. Uh, and we're just going to zoom in now with the camera. Straight away when you zoom in, it just looks a bit more real. It looks a bit more real. Everything looks a bit more real. Uh, and we'll just move the camera slightly. But you get an idea. Looks better. Lots of detail on Valentino there. And just biking, lighting, look, feel. It's just looking much better. Much more realistic. And we can change view. So if we change view. Just, I mean, that could almost be TV coverage, basically, when you look on board. Great to see. Uh, I know people talked about the different cameras, so we'll go through the different cameras on board. Uh, she looks amazing, amazing. And obviously, I've got to zoom out because I can't quite zoom out all the way there with my tripod in front of me. Not quite enough space. Let's see if I can move it. I wanted to do this without edits for you guys. That's why it's not the standard style presentation. So there we are. You can see the, the look of it. But when you're in there, and if the light was a bit quiet and suddenly you move a little bit and you're thinking, wow, imagine being Valentino racing around in Qatar. Uh, and so I just thought when I was looking at this, I was just thinking, wow, you know, you're pushing against, lean against the tire, go over a few bumps. You know, you've got the gears thumping away. Amazing, amazing. Been up there. These bikes are very loud. Heavy braking. Oh, leaning forward for getting into the corner. And just when you look at the detail on the bike itself, you know, just look at the 
the detail there. Wonderful to see the lighting and reflections, the way the lights look as you go past. Brilliant, brilliant. So that adds a lot there. We look at some of the different bikes and there's the helmet cam, it's a bit more gritty, changes the audio. And again, changes the glare and look and feel. And even on bike, just the level of detail. Slow-mo, you can do a slow-mos of course, just to capture those reflections. Great to see. Just add so much more when you're you've got all that extra lighting and detail. And just a little pause moment. So just slow a bit of slow mo. That was just a quick look at the HDR effects. I just wanted to show that off, just how good that looks, and uh, just so there was just a nice understanding for everybody at just how the game looks in HDR mode. It's something we can't record direct feed. But I've done this as a kind of rough cut, just to show you guys something, show you what it's all about. And uh, that's it for me for now. As ever, more soon. Hello viewers, well thanks for watching the video today. Do like and subscribe, it supports what we do. Do become a YouTube member, YouTube Patreon supports all of our content you see on the channel. And of course lots of gaming from retro to modern games. I love it all in terms of racing action. So click on one of the two videos just there to find out more.